This is the video lecture on the statement of cash flows. Now the statement of cash flows is one of the four main financial statements. And the main purpose of this statement is to show all the inflows and outflows of cash. And the great thing about that is it'll help us assess any potential problems with cash. Hopefully, we will always have more cash coming in than we have going out. And as long as that's the case, we're going to be a business that's in a good, healthy position. But if we ever have a situation where more money is going out than what's coming in, then over time that can lead to problems. And we might be able to survive that way for a short time, but over time it will eventually take its toll on the company. So the idea is that the statement of cash flows will help us identify these problems before they get out of hand. Now we're going to learn how to calculate and prepare a statement of cash flows in our demonstration video. But in this video we're going to talk about some of the terminology and some of the items that are required so that you'll understand what you need to use in order to be able to calculate and prepare this statement. First of all, what items are needed in order to prepare the statement of cash flows? Well, There's actually three main things that we need. The first thing we need is a current and up-to-date copy of the income statement because there's going to be a lot of information on that income statement that we will need to utilize. We also need a comparative balance sheet. Now a comparative balance sheet is a special version of the balance sheet that shows amounts for multiple years and that enables you to compare one year to the next so we definitely need that. And then finally there's going to be some miscellaneous or selected transaction data which basically represents certain additional pieces of information that we need. So as long as we have all three of these items we are equipped with everything we need to be able to prepare the statement of cash flows. Now of all the different financial statements potentially the statement of cash flows is the most difficult to prepare. And why is that? Well there's actually a very important reason why. And we've never talked about this but there are actually two different bases for accounting. There's a cash basis and an accrual basis. So we're going to compare and contrast these two bases for accounting. So first of all you see the cash basis. Now according to this, nothing is recorded until the cash has either been paid or received. So that would be your strategy if you follow the cash basis. Now what does GAP say about it? GAP says that the cash basis can only be used in very, very small companies. Companies that don't publish financial statements, companies that are not audited, and that's a very, very small minority of companies. So they could get away with using the cash basis, but really 99% of the time we're going to use a different basis. Now the problem is when we use our statement of cash flows though we have to use the cash basis. So that's one of the reasons why it's so hard to prepare. Now if you look at the other basis for accounting this is called accrual basis. And according to this strategy everything is recorded as soon as it occurs even if the money has not been paid or received. This is required by GAAP. So any company that practices gap accounting, any company that issues financial statements, any company that is audited, they're going to use the accrual basis. And that's what we've been using all along. Think about it. Many things that we've recorded have been accruals. You know, we have sales, credit sales. Well, we go ahead and record that, even though we don't have the money. We make credit purchases all the time we go ahead and record it even though we haven't paid for it yet. So we've been doing a lot of accrual accounting. But the problem is in order to do the statement of cash flows we need the information to actually be in cash basis accounting. So that's why there's a little bit of a problem there. We're going to have to do some converting. 
So we will go through an accrual to cash conversion. We have to do that in order to prepare the statement. We will take all that information that we have and convert that using formulas. And that way we can get the accrual information to be in the cash format. And then we can use it on our statement of cash flows. Now something else we need to talk about on the cash flow statement are the different types of activities. We're going to have three different classifications or categories of activities. Operating, investing, and financing. Now our operating activities, these are going to be the day-to-day -day business activities. Buying things, selling things, paying expenses, all the normal day-to-day -day activities fall under this category. And as we engage in these activities, it's going to either be an inflow or an outflow of cash. In other words, all the things that we engage in day-to-day -day are sometimes going to bring money in or sometimes cause money to go out. So we're going to have those positive and negative changes as a result of that. Then we have investing activities. This is strictly plant assets. We sometimes purchase or sell plant assets. Every time we buy a plant asset, that's an outflow. Every time we sell a plant asset, that's an inflow. So that too can, can affect us both positive and negative. And then we're going to have financing activities. And these are the activities that are related to raising money or financing the business. And there's lots of things we can do to finance the business. We can sell stock. We can sell bonds. We can pay interest. We can pay dividends. So all these things have an effect. And that, again, creates both inflows and outflows, positive and negative changes. So all the various activities that we engage in have that effect on our company. And like I said before, hopefully, overall, we have more money coming in than we have going out. But if we don't, the statement of cash flows will let us know about that. Now the last thing we're going to talk about are the cash flow methods. There are actually two different methods for preparing the statement of cash flows. There's a direct method and an indirect. Now, according to the direct method, we would use a series of formulas to convert the information into the proper format. In other words, taking the accrual information and converting it into cash. And that way it would enable us to perform the statement of cash flows. So that's one method. But it's also possible that we might use the indirect method. And that method is set up a little bit differently. Instead, we would use a series of adjustments to net income in order to reconcile to the net cash provided by operating activities. So the point of this lecture is to give you some background information on the statement of cash flows, to talk about the usefulness of it, to talk about the different methods, the different activities, that way you'll be familiar with all the terminology. And in the next video, we're going to do a demonstration where we will actually calculate and prepare a statement of cash flows.